All right, guys, let's take two, actually. It, the uh, view is actually better down here than up here, like I had it on the last take. Anyway, the uh, long-awaited, and as promised, the my personal favorite, VX8G versus the VX8DR. Uh, we just did the out-of-band mod to this, and so let me just cover the overall form and function features then we'll get into the radio, then we'll get into a little bit of the GPS and whatnot. Um, so the form and function, this is IPX5, so, um, which is not submersible, but it covers like rain, sleet, snow. Um, with, there's really no internal mechanisms here that if it does get dropped and submersed in water, it might reset it, but it's overall, it's not really gonna harm it as long as you let it dry out before you turn it on. Um, but this is nice about the 8D. It is uh, more weatherproof, uh, a little bit more shock proof. It has nice little rubber padding all around. Uh, nice good guard on the, the knob. The knob doesn't stick out as much. You notice on my knob, I have dropped it a few times before I came up with the, the little backpack system and I did manage it. It came off my belt and fell on the concrete but it still works fine. Uh, these Both of these radios are going to handle a drop and some rain just fine uh, but if you want to go um, out to the north shore of Oahu and use this as your radio to communicate with the Coast Guard this will be the one you want to get. Actually my vote is if you want a radio to communicate with the Coast Guard get the 7R but this one is pretty decent the the 7R the back met the battery and the shock resistant capability of the 7R the if you want a real rugged real waterproof radio get the 7R but this will this is the DR beats the uh, the G and submersibility and the shock proof standards um, that's kind of it for the turn them on here so let's go over the radio components real quick I, like I said I just did the out of band mod uh, <coughs> re receive range won't change if you do the out of band mod the <coughs> it's going to be 0.5 to basically a thousand megahertz and the 8G will be 108 to a thousand megahertz. The difference is in the transmit. The big difference is in the transmit. This is a quad band. This is a dual band. So your frequencies are going to be 50 to 54, 144 to 148, 222 to 225, 430 to 450. If you do the out of band mod, it, the six meter is not going to change. The two meter is going to open up to 140 to 174. 1.25 it's not going to change and the 70 centimeter will open up a little bit so to 420 to 470 um, so the transmit is not going to be um, much different than the transmit on the 8G just this has two more bands to it I think in my other video I covered it but I'll restate it here for me the 6 meter band was not that important um, the real strength in the handheld units is in the repeater network and, and here in Utah I think we have three six meter repeaters and they're all here in the Salt Lake area so when I'm down in Moab or up at Bear Lake or anywhere where I need to communicate and look around there well, lo and behold there's really no good six meter repeater network it's always the when I get out in the back country two meters is where I go and that's where all the repeaters are and this has the two meter and so I that's why I like this one so the six meter was not that attractive to me for the 8DR um, the so that's it on the the radio functions um, the menus will look this is actually pretty similar uh, pretty quick uh, menu or video because they're pretty the same other than the little few radio components and the 
the submersibility. Um, oh, I'll get to that one second. So the GPS. So with the GPS, the menu is the same, but this one has the built-in GPS on top here. This one, you have to either mount it to a bracket that you buy separately, and it plugs in here, and it comes out here, and it's this plastic thing that's real heavy and lanky and is really easy to break. Or you buy the mic, and you attach the GPS antenna to the mic, and then you run the mic cable into here. If you like mics and you don't mind having them, then that is not a bad option. But with my system, I don't really care for mics. They, um, I mount mine. Well, I'll do this one right here. The way I have mine is I have just mounted on my uh, shoulder strap. And I run a little cable to a decent antenna. And I just have this clipped on right here. And it just sits right there, right by my ear, right by my head, out of the way. And um, th that's the system that works for me. Uh, I do that anyway just because the decent antenna, no matter where you put, even if it was right here, if you had a good a size antenna, it's going to be wacky in the face. So that's why I mount the tip, the antenna on the, onto my backpack. Uh, let's go back to the settings here. So menu or the GPS menu, pretty much the same. Uh, station list, and then your APRS messaging. So feel free to comment, ask questions. Uh, appreciate you watching.